Oh yeah, also, okay, um, before you watch this video, please, yeah, please, um, leave a like. The target for this video is, I think, I'm gonna set the target at 100 likes. Um, it is an ambitious target, but I've, I've only got 100 likes a couple times before, and I'm expecting this to, oh, I'm expecting you guys to support this and get this video to about, between 250 and 500 views before the fight goes up so yeah have fun <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to the youtube channel for this video i had to whip out the boxing gloves and applaud ks in i jj olajide olatunji my guy <laughs> He's done something that's never been done before in the YouTuber slash influencer scene and this fight is going to be nuts so in this video I'm going to be going through the fight card talking my predictions for each fight starting with the very first fight and working way up to the main event let's go <laughs> not going to lie the gloves had to come off because I'm going to be doing hand, hand gestures and stuff you're going to be seeing this a lot so yeah. Uh, some people wondering why do I have boxing gloves? You don't even box. You don't even fight. A um, couple years ago, I took on just some basic boxer cl uh, boxing classes just to learn how to work on pads and like improve my general fitness and stuff like that. It's been since I last used these. You can still see they're in good condition. The last time I used them was I think I'd say back in summer 2019, just before COVID. Got a long way to go though, to get back to the level I want to be at. So I mean, if anyone's a boxing trainer, anyone who just wants to do like just light pad work together as like a, just for fun, hit me up and we can work together. But on that note, wheel. All right, starting off with the very first fight, I had to get my phone for this one because I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't even know what the hell is actually going on in terms of this and this fight I bought tickets to see the fight on the 27th of August which I will be vlogging so make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss the vlog when it comes out because the aim is to film upload and then post it the highlights on a Monday for my subscribers try to get it out maybe the Sunday Monday but I'm gonna probably up, up, be up all night editing um, and then I'll probably be editing again on Sunday after football on Sunday so then We'll go through that, but there's gonna be one, two, three, four, there's eight fights on the card now. Uh, there's eight fights on the card. Initially, it was supposed to be seven, and the main headline event was supposed to be KSI versus Alex Wasabi, but Alex Wasabi is a pussy. <coughs> so, unfortunately, he had to back out. Apparently, there was like a concussion or like a, a broken hand. I'm not one to say, like, I don't wanna speak bad on it, but it is a little bit sus that when JJ posted his transformation vid, it was literally like 12 hours later, oh, okay, Alex Wasabi had a concussion, so... <sighs> Moving on, let's get on with the very first fight. Sam Hyde and I Am Thompson. Um, I Am Thompson's just some weird TikTok guy. I saw something of his that he does with guitars and like Instagram models. And Sam Hyde is just a real crazy lunatic. I've seen something of him and he scares the crap out of me. So, my take on this is that the way I see it, Sam had for the win on this one. I'd say it's it, the first, the first two fights are three rounds. So the first, uh, the first fight is a three rounder. I believe it's two or three minutes long because it's an undercard. Uh, but I'm assuming three minutes because it's men's. I know women's they stick it to two minutes, I believe, unless you're in the main event, which is three minute rounds. Uh, Sam had for the win. I'd say second round or third round knockout. I'm not too sure because I don't know if the first round they're going to be feeling each other out. But that is ideally what is the plan so the next fight we'll be looking at is salt pappy and andy worski i'm not gonna lie i'm back in salt pappy on this one he's a weirdo that does weird things with salt on tiktok and that's how he got famous because he used to do the the standing running thing when he like just running like this on the spot but then he moved to the salt thing where he's like seasoning like i think fish and chips or some sausages and stuff like i think he seasoned the full english breakfast with some salt because he was out like, weather spoons i mean what did he expect weather spoons doesn't do great food so um yeah uh the well await dean the great and evil hero um don't know oh crap before i get into dean the great and evil hero so Pappy probably went in the second round either by a, a referee stoppage or a ko one of the two 
Referee stoppage on the basis that the guy can't defend himself after being knocked down three times. That's my take. Uh, Dean the Great versus Evil Hero. Uh, this one, I don't know too much about them. So this is just plucking a thing, a thing out of thin air. Um, I'm gonna go with Dean the Great on this. Probably win in the third or fourth round because this fight is a four rounder. So they got four rounds. Um, and the final fight on the undercard is King Kenny versus Face Sensei. I've seen King Kenny fight. He, I don't know how he initially won the fight against Face Temple because the way I saw it, he was like Face Temple was on his case the whole fight. Um, so King Kenny versus Face Sensei. Last time Face Sensei fought in the UK was the first KSI Logan Paul fight way back in 2018 on the undercard. And I think Face Sensei won that fight. He dominated. So I would back it again because Face Sensei has sparred the likes of KSI and other like YouTube boxers in this world. And I'm back in Face Sensei on this way. Uh, I'm on this one. Uh, where he's gonna. F Fight, I think it's gonna go the distance because King Kenny does have some endurance on him, but still gonna back face sensei on this way. Uh, this way, <laughs> this way, on this one. Uh, anyways, now that we've done with the undercard, let's move on to the main card. All right, then. So, the first fight on the main card is Deji versus Fuzi, it's a four rounder. I honestly just want Deji to win this because he lost to Jake Paul. He lost to Vinny Hacker and he lost to Alex Wasabi. That's how the KSI Alex, Was Alex Wasabi fight initially got the traction because Alex Wasabi has been running his mouth for years. And then, yeah, it's all mad. He told if JG can come down to my weight, then we'll fight. And then JJ came down to his weight, Alex Wasabi chickened out. It's a whole different situation. So in this sense, I want Deji's redemption and I'll be cheering on for Deji, not gonna lie, because I've been watching his content. I stopped watching his content a while ago, but way back in the early day when he was doing videos with his brother before they moved out and then all that stuff so that's that faith temper versus slim alba uh slim alba is slim is that guy that's friends with Ad, uh, you know adam Saleh and faith temper is i believe one of the original founding guys of face clan i believe I could be wrong google it um yeah that one's gonna be a tough one because it's four rounds and it's two guys that are just going at it. They're of the same build, they're light heavyweights. It's both light heavyweight fights, so they're of the same build. Um, they're both tall, they're both slim. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> um, but I believe in this case, Face Temper has this in the bag because Face Temper, he dominated King Kenny and I'm assuming it will be the same again on this one. So I'm hoping that my predictions are right. Um, and then yeah, we'll move on to the main two fights of the night. Let's go. Right, KSI versus Swarms. Uh, this one I'm predicting first round, potentially could go into the early second round win for KSI. KSI is obviously intending to try and knock him out as soon as possible so that he can have a big enough gap of recovery before he fights the next guy. Uh, obviously Swarms doesn't, like Swarms, Swarms, however you want to say his bloody name, don't really see eye to eye, they just made one track and that sort of stuff, so I don't even know man, but I'm back in KSI on this one, uh, Swarms, it's his professional debut, a lot of these guys were having their first professional debuts to be honest, so you can't really expect much from them, however it is what it is, and I, I still think KSI is going to probably floor swarms in the first round that's his aim at least and if he doesn't he'll floor him in the second most likely if he if ksi goes the distance with swarms then or swarms whatever you want to bloody call him credit to swarms fam with limited training and stuff so yeah and the final fight is ksi versus ivan nikolov ivan nikolov is a journeyman i believe his record stands at three wins and 16 losses two draws with nine ko defeats i believe could be wrong off the canvas boxing if you're watching this correct me please in the comments if my information was incorrect but i'll most likely grab the graphics and i'll pop them on the screen to make sure that it's obviously visible for people to understand what is actually going on but yes case of us either knuckle of yes everyone's gonna say oh it's a journeyman oh he's in his early 40s oh this oh that listen journeyman boxers are known for this they come in do a shift get the bag dip 
If this guy gives KSI a problem and then it, KSI fights him and he goes into the third, fourth round, that's good for KSI and it's good for the journeyman. The journeyman shows he's not a pushover and it shows KSI's got the dur endurance and durability to fight against pro people. So it's going to be very interesting to see what actually goes down on this event. And I'm really excited to see how the vlog pans out as well because it's going to be nuts. It's going to be mental. Um, but yeah, that is everything pretty much for the whole fight card. So just to recap it for you guys, I have predicted Sam Hyde to win, Soul Pappy to win, Dean the Great to win, Face Sensei to win, Deji to win, Face Temper to win, KSI to win both his fights. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you've reached this part of the video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, tell a friend to tell a friend, all that jazz. It really doesn't go unappreciated. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. It's just the beginning of a journey. The goal is to hit 1,500 subscribers by the end of this year, and I'm really hoping I can count on your support to do that, guys. So make sure that you like, subscribe, click the bell icon as well when you're doing so, because at the end of the day, it all helps the cause, and it helps me get to the stage where I can get paid and that pain <laughs> getting that pain to get more things to make better content for you guys that's that's the that's the goal to, to just continue entertaining and making better content for you guys yeah uh, peace love guidance inshallah khair. take care stay blessed stay crusty and i'll see you on the 27th boy <laughs>